Hello, Blake Root is here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. And today I'm gonna to show you a very unique technique. Say that 15 times fast. And this technique is profile stacking in Adobe Camera Raw. All right, so just to give you a little backstory about this technique, my friend Jim Woninski created this new course called Advanced Black and White Artistry. There's gonna be a link in the description below, but I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, so while Jim and I were on the phone talking about his course, he said, hey Blake, can you take a look at these profiles for me that I've created for this course? I'd really love your insight on them. I said, sure. So I, I opened up this image from Saint Emilion and I did just some basic adjustments here, just basic camera roll adjustments. And I do this all the time. You might be looking at this and saying, are you insane? This looks horrible. Well, actually that's what I do. I expand the dynamic range in my image so that I basically have a washed out, almost HDR looking photograph uh, where I'm expanding the dynamic range to a point that I can then um, capitalize on the openness of the light in that image so that I can put the light and sculpt the light where I want that light to be. It's just one of those things that I do and it's also one of, the thing, one of those things that Jim does as well. So here's the basic settings, nothing too crazy. So Jim has these profiles in here in this advanced black and white artistry course right here. So I started scrolling through here and as I was talking on the phone with him, I was kind of lost in thought and I scrolled down, I scrolled down. I'm like, hey, you got some colored ones here. He goes, yeah, I'll talk to you, to you more about that in a second. Just go ahead and click on one of those and open it in Photoshop. So I said, okay. So I come up here and I had clicked on the Ilford Delta 3200 because I really liked the way that it made my image look. These, these are all basically modeled after film, some black and white film, uh, really awesome profiles here. So I clicked on this Ilford Delta 3200, closed out my profiles, and I said open image. Now the beautiful thing about these uh, profiles is that they are LUT based profiles, and I'll get into that in a second. So I had this opened up and I said, what did you want to show me? He goes, well, if you, you know, just go into Adobe Camera Raw as a filter. So I pressed Control Shift A, I went to Adobe Camera Raw as a filter, and I clicked on these uh, profiles again. I scrolled down, he goes, that's how you use those. You basically want to use them on a black and white image. So since you already have a black and white image opened up, you can go ahead and use any one of those colored monochromatic uh, effects on the photo. I'm like, oh wow, these are amazing. Like the copper tint, I love that one. Selenium is great. So then I, I started to scroll up as I was lost in thought talking to him, and I was like, like, whoa, look what happens when I double stack a black and white profile from this series. So I clicked on this uh, Agfa APX 25 high and I was like, whoa, look at how this just really dodged and burned my photo really well. So I pressed close on here and because these are LUT based profiles and the LUT is basically working on the top of the layer stack, uh, so to speak, there's really no layers in Adobe Camera Raw, but if you were to think of them in terms of layers, the LUT is on the top and anything I do underneath is gonna affect that LUT. So then I started to mess around here and I was like, whoa, okay, so now I can, I can push and pull the light underneath this one and start to dial in exactly what I want this photo to look like through the use of two different profiles. So I'll go ahead and just press OK and open that in Photoshop. Now, I think that this is gorgeous, but what I did was I took it a little bit further and I created this image. So I put a dodge and burn on there. I did a Radiance 2.0 for my Zone System Express and then put a square vignette around it to really dial in the eyeballs. So why am I showing you this? Well, I'm showing you this because I want you to take the time to experiment. So what happened here? I did my basic settings in Adobe Camera Raw. I put a profile on them in Adobe Camera Raw, opened it up in Photoshop, then used Adobe Camera Raw as a filter to then put another profile on. And you might think, well, that's kind of weird. Why would I ever do that? Well, the idea is just to experiment. When you find yourself in a creative rut, you're not quite sure what to do with your images. One of the best things that you can do is experiment. This was a happenstance experiment of two guys just hanging out on the phone who really enjoy what they do. And together, through us just discussing it, stumbled upon a technique that was really incredible in this monochromatic world. I love the image that I created here. Now, Jim's course is called Advanced Black and White Artistry. It is the second of two courses that he has in the Black and White Artistry series. Now, why am I telling you that? Well, this is not to make a sale for Jim. I could very well just leave it at that and say, go buy Jim's course. But the idea here is I, two, two basic principles. Number one, experiment. Okay, I've already talked to you about that, the, the idea of experimentation. Number two is the idea of finding yourself a mentor. Now, I know that many people have used me as a mentor to create their images, and I think that's phenomenal. But you know what? I can't stand alone. I need a mentor as well. So I'm sharing my mentor in the black and white world that's Jim. So this image, what you're seeing right here, is actually the combination of using what I learned in his first black and white artistry course with what I learned in his second black and white artistry course to create this 
really phenomenal black and white image in a very short period of time. If you were to ask me, hey, Blake, how long did this take you? I'd say, well, you know what? About two and a half minutes. <laughs> I did some basic adjustments in Adobe Camera Raw, put a profile on it, accidentally put another profile on it, and then I used some of my other techniques to really craft and, and fine tune this image to make it what I would feel is actually a pretty good uh, artistic mastery piece. Now I could take it even further, obviously, and really push this to another dimension. Not only does he have a plethora of profiles included in this course, but there's also 18 videos. And from what I know of Jim and working with Jim many times, the stuff that he talks about, the artistry that he talks about, he has this way of inspiring me to want to become a better artist. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. So if you're interested in Jim's course and you're watching this on YouTube, in the description below, there's gonna be a link that says, learn more about Jim's advanced black and white artistry course. If you're on F64 Academy on my website, there's gonna be a box above that's gonna say learn more. And you click on that button, it will take you over to Jim's page where you can watch his video and he talks all about uh, what he has to offer in this advanced black and white course. If nothing else, I certainly hope that you learned that through the act of experimentation, you can create something really interesting that might inspire ideas for the future. Again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy and F64 Elite. And if you like this tutorial, please like it, share it, and tell a friend. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I certainly hope you appreciate it.